Hey, what's up guys? I'm out here with the new Maven RS3 5-30x50 30, 30 millimeter tube and this is the first time I've tested any Maven scope. All right, now having mounted this thing and got it zeroed, I just got through re-zeroing the turret, got them back to zero so that I can test this thing at 50 yards. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my handy dandy Rim X, I'm shooting Italy Edge, and I'm gonna shoot five shots, and in between each shot, I'm gonna play with the turret and see if I can trip this thing up. All right, let's do it. First shot. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna kick her open. Work on these turrets for a little bit. Guys, you're gonna see a full review on this thing coming up before long. But before I did anything, I wanted to bring this thing out here and try to get an idea what the glass looked like and how it performed. And so far, just from what I did practicing, it's performed great. Right, let me get this back right. All right, second shot. Putting them right in there. Got a little bit of a wind today, blowing left and right about, hell, I don't know, seven to 32 miles an hour or some shit. I'm not a weather dude. Weather dude. But I can tell you that it is blowing pretty good and it is one cold bitch out here today. Got up this morning, it was 31 degrees, but I couldn't wait to get this thing out to the range. So I bundled my big ass up, and here I am. You don't need to get that personal. All right, third shot. <laughs> right on in there. This thing is looking great. One thing that's really cool about the reticle on this is how easy it is to pick up. A lot of the scopes now, the reticle is so slender because guys are so worried about getting the most precise shot they can. The problem is with first focal planes, you can't pick the reticle up a lot of times. With this thing, you can see it and I'm liking the shit out of it. It's got a lot of reference points without just blowing your mind with too much clutter. All right, four shot. digging it. I'm digging the shit out of it. When I first got this thing in, honestly, I thought you couldn't re-zero the turrets. You can, but they're machined so tightly that I couldn't tell that they came off. This thing is a really, really nice scope. You'll see a link to Maven below, and you'll see all the specs on this scope. All right, last shot. Come on, win. Win, don't mess me over. Damn it. Ah, shit. Well, it caught it just a little, but it still stuck it right in there. Every one of these optics companies have to prioritize where they want to put the money. With this thing, I haven't tested the rest of them, but with this one, it's in the glass. Now, this thing tracks great, but this will prove to you, you don't have to have gigantic turrets the size of a damn beer can to be able to make a scope dial precisely. I'll be really putting this thing through the ringer later. I hope you guys will come back and check that out. And if you hadn't already, hit that damn subscribe button. Shit, it's cold. Ugh. Hey, what's up guys? 